Good day everyone, thanks for joining me. I'm Carla from Cathedral Art School and today's project is going to be watercolor salt paintings. So if you have your kit at home, get all your materials out and let's create. So the materials that came in your kit are going to be uh, three sheets of heavy watercolor paper. You'll have a bottle of white glue. You'll have a container of salt. You will have three jars of watercolor paint and you have the primary colors in this kit. So you have red, blue, and green. And your last tool is going to be your dropper. Okay, so if you are doing this with little people who may be aggressive painters, um, you might wanna tape your paper down to the table. So if you have some masking tape at home, you can just run a little strip of masking tape all the way around the edge, and that just helps hold the paper steady while they're working. Um, if you're working with kids that are a little bit older and maybe less aggressive with their paint, um, then you can obviously just leave it on the table as is. This project is going to be a very wet and very uh, messy project, so you definitely want to maybe put down some um, plastic on your table if you have a tablecloth um, or something maybe paper towel underneath just to help with some of the mess okay so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start with our glue so I'm going to take my white glue and I'm going to start by creating some designs with my glue on my paper so I'm keeping my designs very abstract for this one, but if kids wanna create creatures or they wanna do houses or they wanna do hearts, um, it's really anything goes for this one. So let the creativity flow. Okay, so I'm gonna stop there. I've got quite a bit of glue on here. So now what I'm gonna do is take my salt and I'm going to pinch some salt and I'm going to add salt to my glue. There we go. So I'm going to make sure I get a pretty healthy dose of salt on all of my glue lines. And we can shake all this salt off after, so don't worry about putting lots on. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a little bit of a shake. So I'm just gonna tilt it, let some of my salt there run off. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my paints and I'm gonna take my dropper and pick up some paint. And I'm going to start dropping the paint one drop at a time onto the areas where my salt and my glue are placed. Okay, so that's some nice glue. I think I'm going to add a little bit of red go and you can layer the color over top of each other or just have a single color in a spot because you have the primary colors your colors are going to mix a little bit so you might end up with a little bit of purple and orange and green and all of those nice secondary colors in there which is a really good opportunity for you to talk about color mixing so you know what two colors make purple what two colors make orange what two colors make green so it's a really good uh, learning activity too if you're trying to incorporate some of that homeschooling into your day so I will continue adding salt, adding paint. Um, the other thing that you can do that's really fun is if the kids want to add some color to their paper, they can do that with the droppers. They can also do it with a paintbrush and they can paint that um, color on there and then they can add a little bit of extra salt to it as well. And it creates a really fun sort of speckly effect. So 
so the salt kind of pushes away some of the color and you get these really nice little white speckles showing through as well. So this is a super fun one. You guys have three watercolor papers, so you should be able to create some really wonderful masterpieces. I can't wait to see what you guys create.